Hello? Is anybody here? Nobody's here. We're going back here because I've got wire and I've got, uh, you know what? I gotta get my skirt. It's a skirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. bait. Here is my spinner bait skirt. Ooh, God. It's very fragile. I mean, if I had some white skirt material, I would just do a new skirt, but I don't. And I don't have time to order it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this skirt back on here and I'm gonna tie it very easy, very easy. This spinner bait right here is a Hunter Creek. I think it's the name of it. I was working at Gander Mountain probably about 15 years ago and um, well, maybe 10. And uh, this guy brought in these spinner baits and we done it as a unique item, which means it's a local deal, which the guy was actually from Pennsylvania, but Shane Burlow came up with the, these don't have the Burlow blades on it, but this is like the Burlow blade spin, spinner bait. You can actually get this mold on eBay now, and I'm really thinking about doing it because the guy, Bill, I think was his name, he passed away a couple years ago, which really sucks. He was a great dude. Made a killer spinner bait, and he had some really good skirt colors too, and this is one of them, and I love throwing spinner baits, so I'm gonna revive this spinner bait gonna come back to life yeah I've got plenty of skirt material but most of it is like blue and pink now the blue would actually work if I had some white skirt material to go along with it but I don't this is a nice blue that would be a nice yeah I'm just gonna leave it alone all right now I'm pretty sure that you can see everything that I'm doing I'm just gonna give you a crash course on how to tie this skirt on this spinner bait and th these skirts right here have like a rubber collar that the actual strands are melted to. And that's what happens. They dry rot and then they fall off. But I cannot get rid of this spinner bait to save me life. I know what you're asking. Like, why don't you just get a new spinner bait? Or if you're using that old, old if you're using that old of a spinner bait, don't you think the uh, hook's going to be a little dull? Well, you can sharpen the hook. And when I throw a spinner bait, I always throw a trailer hook. So I don't need to do nothing. So stop telling me what to do, okay? We're gonna find like the bare spot of this uh, skirt, which is probably gonna be, well, let's just see. Let's put it on the spinner bait. So, so of course the bare spot's gonna be right here because it's not fitting all the way around the collar. So we're just gonna take this. Let's do this. Let's put this bad boy on the collar. So this is going to be the back of the skirt, okay? And then we'll take this. How's that go? Yep. Take that. You want to leave it long in the back, kind of like a mullet. You want to kind of leave it long in the back, short up top. That way the, the bottom end of the skirt or the top end of the skirt kind of flares out over, over the uh, bottom end. It's total opposite on the jig when I time separate the skirt like we did before and this will fill it out a little bit more a piece of wire do that we got it separated put the skirt around the collar like so mm. What I might do is just go ahead and give it a pull, just so it kind of stays up there. You don't have to worry about that skirt slipping off like that. Okay. Just like that. Like I said, just put it right there. You want the, the bottom half to be longer than the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it right there. All right, so the next thing I want to do is bring this wire around. Make sure your skirt is separated, just like before. Just like that. Wrap your wire around the, the collar one time to hold it in place, and that way you can take this other, this piece of skirt that you're going to fill it in with, 
and just kind of lay it on top like that. And you want the you want the longer part on the bottom, shorter part on top, which you can trim and adjust. Okay, and then take that piece of wire, go ahead and lay it right there on the belly. Like so. Cinch it down. Just like that. Go ahead and give it a couple turns. Keep your skirt straight. And this is kind of a pain in the rear. But once you trim it up, it'll be all good. And then take your dikes, I mean your needle nose or dikes, whatever they're called, pliers, and then really get in there and crank down on it so it tightens it up, just like that. Cut that little piece of tag in off right there, and then just kind of bend it over to the side, mash it down, cut your ends, get that one out of here. We didn't want him in there anyway, right? Okay. So, just like that, that's actually pretty wicked. I'm glad I did that. And then I'll just kind of trim it up. Actually, it doesn't need trimming. Just kind of even it out. So his belly ain't showing. And there you have it. A revised... Spinnerbait. Come here. So there you have it. That's how I revive my spinner baits. And uh, like I said, that's just one of my old favorite spinner baits I love throwing. And once I get stuck on something, I'm kind of stuck on it, which I have other spinner baits I throw, but uh, that one I really love. Hope you like the end. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate all your support, all your likes, all your subs. Keep subbing, keep liking, and. I really need a tagline for quitting these videos, but I don't have one. We'll see you next time. <laughs>